Hello guys. Yep. It's a nice beautiful day. Um, yeah. My name is Samuel Dada and I'm a PhD student um, at Cambridge University in the Department of Chemistry. Um, before we go into the lab, let's just go on a little trip. about you all the time but we don't do interviews no no you take a pic i might just say the shit that be my favorite no i do not stalk your page and shit no i got my ways and shit no. so i'm in the lab and we've just finished our lab meeting and jonathan's here i mean he's been here the whole time vibing to some mr mac miller and now I'm basically prepping the worm samples. Slides on here. Um, so I'm gonna mount them onto the slide, and then Jonathan is preparing some of the samples for live states, and he's gonna basically freeze it and get that done. But yeah, it's all going so well so far. We're on time, you know. Sort of kind of on time but we'll see how it goes yeah <laughs> Time, baby, you thought I forgot. I cannot forget the time, baby. Girl, you so bad from the waist down. Now you look gorgeous from waist up. I think I got what it takes now. Let's so we're done, and we've got our samples. They are not here. <laughs> and then we're gonna basically have lunch now, and then image them later. Yeah, but it's all going well so far, right? Yep. We'll see you in a bit. The way the ship would take us When we post a pic, they get mad at us So they laugh at us, they not catching up They not fast enough, when we snap it up In the neck and break down Guess it's what it takes So now we're in the work Well, we're not in the we're in the confocal room But look at that worm Right there Look at how beautiful it looks Actually, you can't see anything can Probably you? not Nothing I'm here with Jonathan. Oh, see we can see Jonathan's you face. See yeah, you can actually see it. Actually, we can turn up the light. Ooh. So, what are we doing, Jonathan? We're just taking some images of some worms, aren't we? Yep, yep. we are. Quick introduction again, Jonathan. Well, I have to introduce myself again. Yeah, you have to. Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm Sam's master student. 
and yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. what's what's your background, Jonathan? My background's in psychology and then neuroscience. So you can see psychology and neuroscience in the chemistry department doing biophysics. Biophysical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> So it's actually it's actually possible to do anything, really. We mean it when we say interdisciplinary, don't we? Exactly. Yeah. Um, the realms of possibility is open. How did you manage to get this internship, Jonathan? Um, just send a good initial email, you know? People, people like when you take initiative, and if you send a good email, and you are able to represent yourself well. Uh, there's many doors that can be open for you that you didn't expect to be open. Nice. And here I am. Nice. That is very true. Um, literally, don't ever limit yourself. Always just kind of reach out and you just never know what opportunities are, are available. I can't even speak right now. Um, yeah, even if you think, oh no, this might not work or I might not get a position, just try anyway because you never know what could happen. Um, yeah, I think the worst thing is actually not trying and just thinking that you're not going to get it even before trying. Because if you try, you just never know. You might be lucky. Very true, yeah. very true. Yep, 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 yep. Um, then, we're yeah. back. How have you found the experience so far? Um, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you don't you don't need to sugarcoat it because I'm No, here. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I mean, science is the same everywhere, if that's fair to say. Yeah. And so there's ups and downs in any project that you do. Um, but yeah, it's great. I mean, I have a great supervisor. No sugarcoating, but... You can't see me smiling, but I'm smiling <laughs> right here. <laughs> so that, that makes everything better, you know? It's, it's easier to get through the rough times. Oh, you made it easier as well, don't you? Yeah. You know? Well, when you work with people you can get along That's with, it. it makes it so much easier. That's true. Um, yeah, things just flow a lot quicker. Like, even during the hard times, it just makes it easier to just get through it. Um, so in terms of, you know, I don't want to say it, in terms of future, yeah. what are the plans? Well, you know, the future is uh, <laughs> unclear always. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm gonna go for a PhD and we're gonna see where it's gonna be, but I will, mm. I have the, the goal to do a PhD after mm. finishing my master's this summer. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be that, just the question of where. Yeah, yeah. Also, have you found like any differences between like doing a bit of like psychology and kind of working or kind of just the difference between like you know research and kind of just teaching or just learning stuff as like an undergrad yeah yeah i mean the difference is quite big you know like as a as an undergrad in a big course like psychology you're one of 650 people and all you do is just sit exams and study and then as you go into a master's like i think any step that you take in your academic career upwards let's say so from bachelor's to master's and then to PhD and up and up, it just becomes more focused on you as a person. And so in the masters already, you're learning how to um, do things with closer supervision. You maybe have one person teaching three or four people, and then you actually get to learn some hands-on stuff, stuff that just can't be taught for 600 people at the same time. So that's always really nice. And then research projects just really give you like a nice insight into uh, what science actually feels like doing and what it's actually like to be, you know, at the forefront. And obviously, you know, papers that you read always are very nice and published, <laughs> and it sounds like it's so good to do. But well, that's we, just not how it is. We know about that, don't yeah. we? Don't we? We've been through um, quite a bit, like Jonathan said, like, um, yeah, the paper looks all glamorous, but it actually takes such a long time to get to that stage. Um, literally, some papers I can imagine, like maybe some cell papers might even take four years. Yeah. to get to it and so many people are working on that certain project to obviously answer a certain or particular question so it's not as easy as it seems sometimes um, it's a long journey and um, it's always a battle um, but yeah slowly and surely we always get there at the end or answer at least one little question um, yeah but so far everything's going well in the uh, confocal room, my new confocal room. We love this room, don't we? <laughs> we love to see it indeed. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Thank you, Jonathan, for asking thank you. some thank of my you. questions. Um, yeah, we're just gonna get on with work, right? And the worms. Beautiful. So we've swapped positions now, and Jonathan is taking control. 
Not sure if I can trust him, uh, but hopefully I've taught him well uh, and he knows how to do, do this, you know. So in terms of skills, what have you, what have you gained? What have you learned um, so far? <laughs> Oh, I'm getting that <laughs> um, No, I'm learning a lot. I mean, like mm -hmm. in vitro experimentation is something I haven't really done before. Mm -hmm. I'd mostly done in vivo stuff. And so just, uh, you know, learning how to sort of uh, image things as well, like microscopy. This is beautiful here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's a very valuable skill to have, I think. The same as protein, you know, protein work. Is something that you don't really learn, obviously not in psychology, no. but also not really in neuroscience because it's quite a niche, niche field, even of whatever it is, a field of biology, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so, it yeah, it's, it's great to learn and get some of these skills under your belt. Yeah, I guess also one thing I think that we're quite, um, I think quite op opportune in our lab is the fact that we have so many different resources, and I'm very grateful for that because. Um, even like with the proteins, we actually kind of express our own proteins, we purify ourselves, then <laughs> we go through the whole process of, you know, ensuring that it's all good and ready and we even modify different proteins all ourselves. Whereas like quite a lot of labs have to buy it because they don't have those equipment to be able to do all of those things. So um, you kind of gain a lot of experience from kind of the microbiology kind of things to even, I mean, Jonathan's done a lot of like mass specs, I know, <laughs> um, which is a lot of chemistry and doing a lot of like chemical mutagenesis. So yeah, and then right now we're working with, you know, C. elegans, which is a model organism. So from like in vitro to in vivo, and you've done quite a lot of drug development stuff. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, there's kind of a whole kind of, you know, world of opportunities and I guess, that's something I love about my lab. I might be just biased, but you know, I think John can say that as well. No, definitely. I mean, the interdisciplinarity is something that's 100% given here. Mm. And that allows you to get an insight into so many different fields and also see what's right for you, which of those you enjoy most mm. and which you're best at. And then you can make your contribution to the greater, greater good, you know, that's I think sort of what this center is really good at. Yep. The Center for Misfolding Diseases. Yeah, um, in the Department of Chemistry. Um, we Check do, us out. <laughs> yeah. We do chemistry, but more than chemistry. I think that's why it's quite, it's quite beautiful. And that's why we struggle with like, when I introduce um, my channel, I'm like, I'm in the Department of Chemistry. I know it's in the Department of Chemistry, but we don't do solely chemistry. We do more than just chemistry. Like in our lab, we have people who are theoretical physicists um, who have all the number crutch crunching with rates and all of that by um what's it called microfluidics yeah, you know yeah. uh, <laughs> working on different devices ftir afm i mean it's just it's just it's and just this endless is, this isn't chemistry either this know? is not chemistry yeah worm. it's a live worm yeah so yeah it's good even knowing how to like operate this system a confocal system i mean look at it it's it's huge That's it. It's huge. It's, you know, you've got just a screen here. You've got all this chamber system right here. You've got an air table, like this floats. You should turn the light on in a sec. Yeah, well, we don't want it to affect our samples, but this is like floating. In 15 seconds. Yeah, look at, look at this, this is how huge it is. Just to image something so tiny that is right there. If you see the green dot, that's where the sample is. That's how tiny it is. And then look at how, Amazing it looks. Okay, so oh, do you want to show you the, um, the 3D? Oh, yeah, that? I can show that as well. Yeah, look at that. I know we can actually even image this in 3D as well. So if you go to 3D. Yeah, I'll... Look um, at it. Um, look at that. Amazing, amazing. You know? Just, really just cool. great. Wait, can I turn the white? Yeah, you can turn the white light, so that's yeah, just a fluorescent light. So look at that, 3D. Amazing. See? Turn 3D. Just, just love it. Just love it. We love it. So cold. Dang. Dang. I 
love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's move on. Okay. We are done for the day. The lab is empty. It's Friday. And nobody's here but me, hard worker. And second hard worker, number two, Jonathan. But we're done. And we can chill. And have a nice weekend. Yes. Yeah. It's 6.30, which is actually pretty early. What? <laughs> 6.30. Uh, yes, done. Yeah. It's early. It's been a successful day, right? Yeah. Well, very good. So. Very good, I think. A bit of a hiccup at the beginning of Confocal. Happens. But we got through it and we managed to get everything that we need. Right, now it's time to chill and have a nice weekend. You're going. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Oh. Honestly, it's so sad to see Jonathan go. Um, I'm going to miss him so, so much. He's been such an amazing student, a wonderful scientist, but more importantly, um, such a lovely and great friend. Um, yes, hopefully this is not the last you see of him on this channel. Hopefully there's many more to come. Um, but I know he's going to do some amazing things in the future and I can't wait to watch his journey. Photo. <laughs> Very sexy. Very Jonathan. Keep your legs up. Do you want to remember this face? <laughs> Hope you all have enjoyed this video of a day in the life of a PhD student. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, guys, stay blessed, dream big, and keep being inspired. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.